Hi y'all, this is So So Blessed. Welcome to The Blessed Place. How y'all doing? I have a Walmart haul and we're going to get straight into it. So hopefully this won't be 15 minutes. Um, just to caution some of you that it's just everyday stuff. It's nothing new, it's nothing special, it's no special items. So I don't want you to watch this whole video and then feel like you wasted your time. So that's, that's your warning, that's your caution. What you looking at, Derek? <laughs> My baby's over here visiting with me. So, you guys, let me just tell you this. I haven't shared this with you guys, but I told you all that I have to have surgery, right? Well, that was supposed to be in December. Well, my doctor moved it up because she said I was bleeding to death. Okay, TMI. But, um, so she moved my surgery up, and it is Thursday coming. Like, today is Tuesday. It's Thursday coming, so I had to get a few items since I will be convalescing for a few weeks. So, that's why I just, this is just everyday items but I like to share with you the kind of brands that I like to use and get your opinions on what kind of brands you use so uh, you guys I stopped using soap bar soap years ago because I absolutely fell in love with body wash I love body washes um, please tell me in the comments if you use body wash exclusively if you don't use body wash you never use body wash you use it sometimes do you mix it with bar soap and body wash um, I don't use bar soap at all um, my husband does and I'll show you what kind I got for him but I love body wash and it can be kind of expensive I don't know this was $3.97 but I love St. Ives and this is I should have my glasses y'all but this is some kind of pair I don't know I'll put it in the description because I can't read it but I got that this is another St. Ives and I know this one is oatmeal and shea butter because I can read it a little better. Old Bill Shea Butter is my absolute favorite um, smell from St. Ives. St. Ives is such a good brand. I mean, it lathers, it makes you smell good. My husband always tells me about how good I smell. And it's partly due to St. Ives. Partly natural, but partly due to St. Ives. Um, and then this is another uh, St. Ives. They have some delicious flavors. And this one is Indulgent coconut milk indulgent coconut milk so it is uh, it's luscious it's so luxurious it's it's I love it then my old standby dial I love dial um, body wash also and this is yogurt this is vanilla yogurt I love 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 dial vanilla yogurt and love 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 um, dial um, strawberry or I can't read this one either oh peach this is peach but so I got those so you can tell that this by the time this haul ends I will tell you how much I spent because I had not intended on spending this much but these are things that I really needed and I'm gonna need while I'm convalescing then uh, those of you who have been a blessed one long enough you know I love 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 baby powder not just any old kind of baby powder it has to be Johnson & Johnson my husband has gone and bought me baby powder before and bought me the little store brand and the family dollar bank brand and I said baby I appreciate you being so thoughtful and kind and generous but don't buy me no more of that off-brand stuff I only this body only wears Johnson & Johnson baby powder oh, I love baby powder some of you said Deidre what do you do with baby powder Every night, 365 nights a year, after I take a shower, I put this under my neck, all on my top, my, you know, my whatever chest, under my breast, you know, big girls got folds and rolls and stuff, under my stomach, yes, I said under, y'all skinny women, y'all don't know nothing about that, but us big girls, y'all know we got underneath the stomach, and betwixt my thighs but so oh my god I love and I when I change uh, my husband and I change our linen uh, about every four to four to six days I sprinkle it on my fresh linen absolutely love baby powder and when if I run out oh I must go to CVS or somewhere that night but I try not to let myself run out because like I already have one of these that's half a half but I try not to let myself run out. So when I get to half of one bottle, I go get another. This is for my husband. He does not use body wash unless, of course, I allow him to run out of dial. Then he starts dipping into my body wash. So y'all know I try to make sure to keep him in 
his bar soap so he won't be trying to luxuriate in my body wash. I don't know if luxuriate is a word, but hey, I like making up words like Tyra Banks says. And Colgate. What brand do you use to keep your pearly whites white? So I use Colgate because this is what I grew up on and I don't like anything else. I, I will use Crest if I'm visiting someone and they have Crest, but I usually always, 99% of the time, travel with my own uh, toothpaste because I only like the taste of Colgate. And I'm sure that's because of habit. I don't like the taste of Crest and and all the other brands. I don't know what the other brands are because Colgate is the only thing I've ever used since I was a young girl unless I was forced to use Crest or something else. But what brand do you use? And along with that, we always keep um, mouthwash. And we used to, now I grew up on Listerine. My dad, my mom and dad were both very, um, very passionate about hygiene. And I thank God that my mom and my dad taught us about hygiene, because some parents, y'all, don't quite teach their children about the importance of hygiene. Then they become stinky adults. Parents, please teach your children hygiene. Brush it. My mom will beat our butt. You walk out of that house and go to school, and when she come home from, when you come home from school, and you laughing and talking to her, and she, and in the middle of your laughing and talking shit, wait, 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 wait. Open your mouth, smile. Let me see your teeth. And you see butter, cause you know children can get butter caked up on their teeth, y'all. If you are a parent, you have seen it. And wait, 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 wait. Did you brush your teeth? Yeah, Ma, I brushed your teeth. Oh, no, no, no. You could not have brushed your teeth. Mama, yes, I didn't. No. See, Mama, Mama, Mama and them were detectives. Like, that butter on your teeth did not accumulate just today. That's some overnight butter on them teeth. <laughs> so, my mom and dad were real strict on hygiene, especially my mom. Um, so, we grew up on Listerine. But, and I, I, and my husband and I started using Listerine, but as I got older, to me, Listerine just started getting too strong for me. So then I changed over to Scope. Okay, so, um, oh, and then along with the hygiene, I got, see, ooh, good catch. That girl used to play basketball. <laughs> basketball. Okay, anyways, um, Y'all, I digress. I'm so easily distracted. So, I, Secret. Secret is the only deodorant I have used other than when I ran out. Like, this week, I actually ran out. I try not to let myself run out of stuff, especially my hygiene stuff, because I'm, I'm, I like to stay up on my hygiene. But I did run out of my deodorant about a week ago, and I've been using my husband's. My husband used Gillette. And I've been using my husband's Gillette. Ladies, y'all ever did that? When you run out of your cologne or your deodorant, you use your husband's? So what kind of deodorant do you use? I mean, I'm asking you these questions because I'm truly, genuinely um, interested. I like knowing. That's why I do these hauls, too, because I like watching other people's hauls. I like watching what they buy, what they um, use, what kind of brands uh, they're loyal to, what kind of, you know, what kind of things that they're, they don't even have any loyalty brand. I, I'm a loyal person to brand. Not so much because of the brand. I'm just, I'm not one to venture out of my comfort zone. If, if this is all I know, this is all I know. And I don't venture out and try new things. Okay, something else I would call hygiene. Q-tips. I ran out of q I keep Q-tips. And my last box, it they last, for me, they last forever because I don't use them for makeup. I don't wear makeup. Well, I rarely. Rarely wear makeup. What do I use Q-tips for since I don't wear makeup? Girl, clean my ears. Anybody else get the itching ears? I have to keep me some Q-tips to clean my ears. I, enough said. That's what I use Q-tips for. Okay, on to some hair products. Um, I got me some Argon oil. I love this little Argon oil. Expensive, $5.97 just for this little small thing. But uh, it really, really, you know makes my hair have a little have a little shine or glow to it so I like that because y'all know I like my fro and I like to have a little shine to it um this also gives a little shine I love um olive oil hair sheen and it gives my hair a little shine a little glow and a little moisture to it now this is something I'm trying for new for the first time and if anybody has tried this any of my natural chicks who watch me if you tried this please let me know but I'm trying Pantene for naturals for the first time. I have only used um, motions. Even while I was permed and even the almost three years now that I've been natural, I've uh, only used um, motions. Like I say, creature of habit. But I'm kind of stepping out of my comfort zone trying Pantene for naturals. 
So I'm gonna try it and see it. I'll let you all know, especially the ones who are interested in my natural chicks, I'll let you know how I like this shampoo and conditioner. And then for hair, I got these. These are just rat tail combs. They're only 49 cents, so I got two. Cause you know, sometimes you need one in the purse and one at the house, whatever. And one day I was at my sister's house, cause I always use a pick. I got a pick y'all and I pick out my hair. My sister's always telling me, stop picking out your hair. Because even when you have a twist or whatever, you're picking out your twist. So I was at my sister's house one day and I used her rat tail comb and I, I couldn't believe I was using, you know, the rat tail part and just picking it. And I was like, oh my God, why don't I have one of these in my life? I like this. She's like, how are you natural all these years and you don't have a rat tail comb? I don't know, but I got one now. So um, those of you, especially my sisters from another mother, you don't quite know what, why I'm excited about having this. I'll use this part to kind of pick through my hair and it won't pick out all of my twists that I've invested so much time in twisting. Again, I talked about going to the hospital soon. So y'all know for the first few days after the hospital, I can't eat too much stuff. And so I got old standby ramen noodles. I know some of y'all saying gross. I would never eat those. Y'all have not eaten these in years and years and years. I'm talking about, I don't know how long it's been since I have eaten ramen noodles years but I do know they're quick and easy and they taste good they actually taste good for 18 cents are you still talking yes I'm still talking get out my business oh no it's gonna be a long video come sit you you gonna watch it mm, yeah no you gonna watch it okay Maybe. I know I can't hold your attention for eight, 15 18 minutes <laughs> not on a video and so I got me some ramen noodles so I got different flavors I got chicken flavor and I got beef flavor and I've got um, noodle um, or oriental flavor. And then I got me some uh, chicken noodle soup. So I have to have this the day before. I can't have anything solid the day before, which is tomorrow. So I got some of this stuff to eat tomorrow. <clears throat> and then my surgery is Thursday. And I'll probably be back to you all a few days after the surgery um, with some updates. And lastly, y'all, okay, this is just a bit TMI. But my doctor told me I had to get this before surgery. And it's part of the haul. But it's some laxative. Okay, TMI. But it's some lemon flavored citrate. Y'all, my stomach is turning just to behold this in my hand. My stomach is turning to think that I have to drink that stuff. I've had it before. Oh, God. Y'all, I'm feeling sick just even thinking about it. But anyway, I got to take that before the surgery. I'm going to take that tomorrow around noon. Oh, my God. Okay, y'all, let's get off of that because my, my stomach is queasy even thinking about it. I got to take that stuff. All right, you guys. Hope you enjoyed this haul. Love y'all. Pray for me. And if I don't see you before Thursday, um, God's will wake me up out of that, out of that surgery. I will talk to you guys um, a few days, a week later. Love y'all. Y'all be blessed.